Hi, in this video you will learn how to use Tilde CRM, a free building tool that allows you to capture and manage leads and helps convert them into customers. When you just start developing your business, it's very important to keep things in order, not to let potential clients slip by and have full control of your workflow. Let's figure out how convenient Tilde CRM is for processing leads generated from the website. To open the CRM, click CRM next to the Dashboard tab in your Tilde account. First, let's make a new list. Specify its title and click Create. A list in the CRM means a database that you connect to forms on your website. After that, the submitted data gets saved in the list where you can edit, sort and filter it. Note that several lists can be connected to different forms on one website. It can be handy if you have two or more forms one for questions and one for orders, for example. Using separate lists for each specific form prevents you from confusing your client's personal information. Once created a new list, there are several ways to connect it to all the forms on the website. You can either click Connect this list to a website button here, or you can go to the site settings, click the Forms tab, then find Tilde CRM here, among other data collecting services. Select the list you want the data to be saved to, then click Add, and then click the Assign to all forms button. If you want to link a CRM list to a specific online form and not to all the forms on your website, you can do it in the page editor. Open the content tab of the block with the online form and select the CRM list to which you want to receive data submitted through this form. Note that CRM can be used to collect data that comes from various types of forms, not only the standard-looking ones containing input fields. Let's say I have an online store with a shopping cart. If I want to save the submitted data from the cart to the CRM, customers' orders, names, contact details, I click Content and check the right list under Tilde CRM. Note that if you've never used Tilde CRM in your account before, there will be no lists available to choose from. To create a new list, just click Create here and repeat all the steps I've mentioned earlier. By the way, don't forget to republish your website after connecting the CRM so all the changes take effect and the CRM starts collecting the data. Once the CRM is successfully connected, it starts receiving all the submitted data every time forms or a particular form gets filled out on your website. If some of your leads are coming from channels other than your website, for example, if customers contact you by phone, you can add them manually by clicking the Add Lead button. Note that the leads in the list can be displayed as a table or as a Kanban card-based board. Switch between the two viewing modes in the upper right corner. Let's take a look at the table view first. Here you can see a number of tabs that represent stages of the sales funnel like Inbox, Confirmed Orders, Ready for Shipment, Shipped Orders and Archive, as well as columns that display the data from the online form input fields such as Date of Submission, Name, Email Address, Phone Number, etc. In the settings you can add new stages, edit, rename, and color code them, for example, as well as change their order and delete unwanted ones. Just type delete to confirm the action. Here I can move leads from one tab to another by holding and dragging them. Start the most important leads if they, for example, should be prioritized. Search through the leads or sort them using different parameters like time period, field type, keywords, etc. Add and edit new columns. Let me add another column, choose the checkbox field type and put all done in the title. This field can be used to mark completed orders, for example. You can search and filter through manually added fields as well. If you added a new column manually and want to link it to an input field in your online form, you can do it by specifying the same variable name for both the CRM column and the input field. Assign the variable name to the column, then add the same variable name to the field in the content tab of the block in the page editor. 
Once you republish the page, the data collected from this input field will be saved to the corresponding CRM column. If you don't find the newly added field useful anymore, you can delete it, or any other field for that matter, in the settings. I type in delete to confirm the action. As you can see, there is no all done column anymore. If any of the fields are of no use to you at the moment, but you don't want to get rid of them completely, you can hide the unwanted fields from the CRM temporarily by clicking the eye icon. Now let's take a look at lead details. If you click on a lead, you can see the data they submitted, for example, their name, email address, phone number, etc., as well as the date and time the submission was sent. You can move the lead from one tab, meaning a sales funnel stage, to another, either by dragging them as I've shown you before, or by changing its status at the very top. If you want to contact your clients, you can do so by sending them an email right from the CRM. To do so, click the envelope icon at the very bottom. Emails can be of standard look or in HTML format that you can create beforehand using the Email Campaign Builder, another free built-in tool here on Tilda. You can learn more about it in the Tilda Help Center. The link will be in the video description. To send emails, you need to connect the CRM to an email delivery service. You can do that in the List Settings in the Emails tab. If you have a custom domain email address, your business email, for example, choose the mail SMTP server value in the settings to edit. This method requires specifying the SMTP server details that can be found in the account or settings section of your mail client. You can also use a so-called transactional email service like SendGrid. Just add the API key generated for your SendGrid account here, along with your email address and your name. Also, don't forget to add a different email address for the test message. Now let's get back to the lead details. To see more info on the lead, click an arrow icon at the very top. Here you can find the contact tab. Click open card and the content card that contains all the client contact information will open up. Using the comments field, you can add notes about the client or their order in case they have special requests. On the right, you can see the client's lead history. This can be useful, for example, if you notice that a customer has placed their third order in a short period of time, so you can reward them for loyalty with a discount. All the contact information of your clients gets automatically saved here and in the Contacts tab here. And you can download all your leads or just selected ones as a CSV file at any time. To do so, click on the three dot menu, then Advanced Export. Choose the desired stage of the sales funnel and click Export. You can be sure that your customer's data is protected as all information about leads is encrypted. Data transfer between browsers and tilde servers is securely protected by an SSL security certificate. Let's go back to the lead details. Here I can also find all the information on the order that was placed by the lead. See product or service details such as cost and quantity as well as see their preferred delivery method, etc. Below you can find the statistics tab. At first you see the brief report with an option to expand it. If you click Show All, you'll see lots of useful data. For example, under Lead Channel, you can find out how the person landed on your website by using the direct link in the browser, from social media, etc. This info comes in especially handy when you need to figure out what particular marketing channel has performed better than others. Also, you can find the user's location, date when they first visited the website, and how long it took them to place the order what type of device they used, how many times they visited the website, as well as the number of submissions sent by the visitor, the number of pages they visited, and the channel that was used to visit the website for the very first time. All this data proves useful when you need to analyze traffic that lands on your website so you can develop marketing strategy, adjust it when needed, and ultimately grow your business fast and effectively. You can also analyze stats and sales and see detailed reports thanks to the built-in statistics. To see it, go back to the list, click on the three-dot menu next to the Add a Lead button and select the Statistics tab. At the very top, you can choose a specific time period for the data display. 7 days, 30 days, 1 year, or all time. 
If you need to examine past and periods of time, use the calendar on the right to specify the desired duration. Here you can also see all the data on the project, the number of new leads, average number of leads per day, device types used to access the website, total sales and total sales per day, as well as the average order value for the chosen period. Further down you can find charts that help single out days of peak activities in terms of the number of leads and sales amount. Below you'll find comparative statistics in percentages by types of devices as well as lead channels. At the very bottom of the page you can get insights on the sales funnel for the current date. This information gives you a clear idea of how many leads are at each stage of the funnel and how fast they progress through it. These graphs can also be of help in figuring out the lead to sell conversion rate. Let's go back to the lead details and see how you can use the CRM as a team. At the very bottom, you'll find the comment section. This option comes in handy when using shared access. You can add a comment about the lead for your colleagues, fellow managers, so they are timely informed on the client's special requests. The feature allowing shared access to CRM lists is called Collaborators. You can find it in the list settings. Here you can add and set up the access type for your coworkers. You can grant full or limited access, edit only or view only to any tilde user, for example to a new sales manager at your company. Note that if the collaborator's access is limited, they won't be able to see any statistics. Collaborators with full access can see all the statistics on the leads but cannot add other users nor provide access to them. Only the owner of the list has the right to do all the above. Add new collaborators, grant and limit their access, see the statistics, etc. The collaborators feature also allows appointing a responsible, a collaborator that you have granted access previously to a particular lead. Let's get back to the lead details. And under Assign, appoint a responsible manager. After that, the manager's name can be found in the Assign column in the table view. And if I switch to the Kanban view, you can see that the lead gets marked by a colored circle with the appointee initials. It's useful when you have several managers working on one list. Now let's explore the Kanban board view. Let me open another list to show it to you. Here the sales funnel is divided into stages that make sense for this type of business, a creative agency. Here they are. Inbox. Brief. That has been sent to the client. In progress. Under client review. Invoice and the archive, where the completed deals are stored. For example, Rebecca has ordered a website design and development and gets a brief from us. So I drag the card from the inbox column to the next one, that is called brief received. Then after all the back and forth discussions with the client, the brief is finally agreed upon. That means designers can start working on the project, so the card then goes to the in progress column, and so on through all the stages. And finally, let's have a quick overview of the settings tabs. In the main tab you can rename the list. In the fields tab you can add, edit, delete and hide fields that contain information on your list, such as the date and time of submission, their contact details, order details, etc. In the sales funnels tab you can add, edit and color code fields that represent stages of your sales funnel. In the action tab you can delete the list. Note that deleted lists go into the trash bin where they are stored for 7 days and after that cannot be recovered. Under collaborators you can grant access to other tilde users so they can manage the list along with you. In the export tab you can download the list as a CSV file. The emails tab allows you to send emails to your list but a third party mail service is required. In the website tab you can connect your list to any website from your current account. Finally, in the Files tab you can connect Google Drive so that users with access to the CRM list will also have the possibility to quickly check the related documents stored on Google Drive. Here is almost everything there is to know about Tilde CRM. This concept of maintaining the sales workflow helps improve the overall efficiency of sales and makes it easier to keep track of ongoing and completed deals as well as simplifies working with clients. You can find more info on using Tilde CRM in the Tilde Help Center. The link will be in the description. Start using Tilde CRM now to manage leads and keep your business in order. Thanks for watching! Bye!